Okay, so I've got my hair in the a key towel, and it has not been up here very long, but Yellowstone's coming on at eight o'clock, so I want to go ahead and get my hair done. Okay, we're going to use the air wrap tonight, and then I will finish this video in the morning. If you're wondering why I do my hair at night, there's a couple of different reasons. I would say the main reason is I like to kind of set myself up. I always say set myself up for success. I know that if I have to take a shower, do my hair, and my makeup in the morning, it's it's too much. It's just too much for me to have to do. I mean, I've done that before, long ago. But I really enjoy having my hair done when I wake up in the morning. It's fresh. I love the way it smells. And then all I have to do is put my makeup on. And it just kind of splits it up. So that's why I do that. Uh, tonight, let's, or yeah, tonight, let's use... Instead of my Kerastase, I'm going to use two pumps. I used this today. Oh yeah, two pumps, two and a half pumps of the new Moroccan light oil. On the ends, or on the, I call this the ends, <laughs> the ponytail end of my hair. And then we're going to Spray it with the in common. Then we are going to throw caution to the wind. We are going to try this JBN Blowout Styling Milk. I know I'm not doing a blowout, but I'm wondering if it will give some extra hold to the Dyson, the air wrap. So let's do... Just two pumps, and I'm gonna let's I'm gonna work it in my hair, and now, and of course, I know you guys are seeing the same steps kind of over and over again, but I like that. When I watch videos, I don't like it when someone says, okay, I'm going to go do my eyebrows, my this, my that, and come back. Because I like to see it. I like to see things over and over again. So I'm hoping, and plus this could be your first video of mine that you're watching. So I take the wet brush, paddle brush, brush it out. And I will say that trim was good for me. I was scared. I was gonna feel like it was really short, but I think it did good for the ends. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I work all those products through my hair. Okay, something I realized that I could have been doing wrong with the Dyson is not getting my hair dry enough to begin with. Then, because remember I told you the reason that sometimes I didn't care as much for the Dyson is because I felt like it didn't smooth my hair. Well, I think it, I was leaving it too damp and then it was just kinking back up. And then, like I said, sometimes I do take the towel out of there. And I realize you may not be able to hear me as well as when I wear the whole microphone thing, but I just don't know how that would be with things like this. So I will wear that tomorrow so you can hear me better. So I apologize for the echo. Now I'm going to dry my hair just like I always do. I realize I could put the little dryer thing on this, but I prefer just to go ahead and do this. And I'm going to dry it about I would say 65% dry, and then we will start with the air wrap. And I think that's the heat and the air 
all the way up. And you can see it's not even hard enough to like burn my hands. That's why I like the tear dryer. Another one I like is the T3. It doesn't get too hot either. But some of my other ones, whew, they get so hot. And if you have like shorter hair and you're not worried about damage, and you don't bleach it, you do all the things I do, then you might not have to, you know, do all these things that I have to do. But I had just learned if you want to have long, long hair, you have to be very, very careful with it. Especially the older you get. Okay. Get it from body. Pull it right up from the root and try to dry it at those roots. Like that. I did notice the first time I used this low out stuff that I did have more body. And when I put that Velcro roller in, it did you know, you kind of stay up higher. So I do think it has good hold in it. Okay, I'm about to get it too dry. Let's do this side. resistance. You know what I mean. How it kind of, you know, you can feel it in there. Okay. I do have the longer barrels, but I don't like them because it gives you a longer, skinnier curl. I like a wider curl because I like the body. When I use the long barrels, it just gives like a long, skinny curl. That's more like for like beachy waves or something like that. So this is how I like to do it. And I am very tempted. You don't have to tell me what you think. But I'm tempted to get the new one because I'm, for one thing, you don't have to switch the attachments, which that isn't that big of a deal. But it has that other smoothing thing on it. So if you have the new one, let me know what you think. Okay. Now I was going to use this. Hmm. But I'm not because I want to know, because this has a tiny bit of hold too. It's the Neuro Style Heat Protect with some hold. I want to know how this performs. So we're just going to use this, the Complete Blowout Styling Milk. Okay. Always. I look in the mirror, I see the arrows going this way. That tells me that it's this side because I want to blow away from my face this particular time. Sometimes I do it the other way. So I like to do it where you hold it at the bottom, you catch it, and then I'll get some wrapped up there and then I like to kind of twist it myself. And then I hold it and I kind of like, you know, monitor it. Keep my hand on it, it gets hot. 
So now I'm going to hit it with a cool shot. I'm going to let it cool down. Okay, now I'm going to let the cool shot off. Sorry. Let the cool shot off and then let it kind of heat up again. Okay, now I'm going to do the cool shot again with a button on here. Until it cools down. Okay, now cut it off and let it sit there for just a minute. You will be surprised at what a big difference that makes if you will let your curl cool just a minute and let it sit. And then, I'm going to let it down. Then, I'm going to do another section. Do the same thing. I don't want it to stay too hot for too long. Sorry, I'm hitting it with a cool shot again. It's not like it's really cool, it just kind of just takes the heat away. Okay, now I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit. reason I brush it before I do it is I just think the nicer you have it wrapping around the better. You'll just get a prettier curl. This one's a smaller piece so I didn't have to turn it. Okay, so I feel it getting really hot so I'm going to hit it with a cool shot which just means it's cutting the heat down. And then I let it go again and get really hot. And then I hit it again with a cool shot. I cut it off. There we go. Okay, these are just always my fragile pieces up here. I think that's pretty common. I don't know, some people I see have thick hair everywhere, but my sides have always been curlier and thinner. Therefore, whew, I'm not going to, these will not take a lot, and I'm not going to subject them to a lot of heat. to flip to the other. It's very easy. You know, when people ask me, is this worth the money? It is. It is because it just, I mean, it's, it cuts out a big step and it works. Okay. When they're long and thicker like that, I like to wrap it up like that myself. Okay, full shot. Let it go again, let it heat up. And then the full shot. And then let it sit for just a minute. On this. It would be nice to have my makeup on the whole time I was doing this, but you know what? This is this is real life. <laughs> there we go.
amazing. One thing this does too is it gives you curl, but it really does keep your texture. So if you're someone who really wants fullness, I think this is a good way to go. Okay, this little piece decided he didn't want to go back there, so I'm just going to group it in here. starting point. Oh, I would have grabbed the opposite side. Okay. This is why you gotta hold it at the end so it'll wrap right. And then this one I really like to Pull up high like this so that you can get that volume at the crown. I think pull this thing does get hot. Just don't let it stay too hot. Let it go again. And pull it back. As soon as I can like feel it on my head, like that hot, I will cut it off before I get the cold shot. Okay, try not to pull it too much when you take it out. No. I'm a believer in the clips. So I'm just gonna clip this back piece. Should be just like three pieces on both sides. So hold it to the end, let it wrap. This one I could probably, yeah, let it wrap on its own, but sometimes I just think it curls prettier when you'll help it a little bit. Probably depends on the length of your hair. Yeah. Here I am just starting something. That's how things get complicated with me because I'm always trying to make it better. Okay. So I like to go under and then back. Full shot. Get it hot. Let it get hot. Turn it off. Hold it. Let it cool off just a moment. There we go. So I will say I can still hold that and it doesn't burn my hand. So that just shows you it's different than a curling iron or something like that. Okay, brush it back. Okay. 
think this is cool too to kind of, you know, video the whole thing because then you see really how long it takes. And keep in mind, this will last me two days. Probably if I wouldn't, I like to have fresh, good hair for my videos. If I wasn't worried about that, it could probably go three days. Plus, I'm just not good at the whole dry shampoo thing. And today or tonight, I'm going to show you how I put it up this week. Just some shape around my face. Okay, Woo, that's getting hot. I've got the cold shot on it now. I'm gonna let it heat up. Cool shot. Let it heat up a little bit. And then we'll cut it off. And we may, when you get through, we'll look and see if there's any places we need to touch up. Yeah, <laughs> this side always curls better than that side. And I feel bad having to do that side again. Do it one more time. A lot of it is, you know how your hair, if you look at a baby's head, our hair kind of grows like this all the way around. So that's why one side of your bangs just, they do different than the other side. So here we go. Let me turn around and let you see the back. So it's not as curly as when we do it with like the Dyson. It gives you actually like more curl at the ends. Killing me not to spray it. Let's just do a little bit of this heat protectant type spray and see what it. I love the way this smells and see the way it looks tomorrow. Now, this is how I put it up. I don't know what made me start doing this. It's a weird version of a messy bun. I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you, but I flip over. Grab my hair very loosely, like this. I put the rubber band around it, and I just do like this, and then I grab the rest of the hair and pull it over like that. I know. And then that gives me some type of a messy bun. And a lot of times, if I'm going to be walking around, I will um, just hook it with one of these and then take it out right before I go to bed. And that is it. So I will see you in the morning. Okay, you guys, it's the next day. I will put a clip in here of me taking it down out of the little spiral thing. And then I usually just put it up with my clips to brush my teeth, wash my face. And then I do it like this while I'm doing my makeup. And then I thought I would just take it out with you. And you can see it's still in sections. Let me get my comb, I'll show you what I do. I like to take this comb and just kind of separate it with the end like that. So the verdict is the 
it does not stay as curly as when I use my, the, I keep wanting to say the Dyson wand, but it's the dry bar wand. When I use that or the T3 curling iron, it does curl to the top a little bit more and it lasts a little bit better. But I would say that JVN stuff did not make it too like sticky or anything. And I think a lot of people would rather have less curl and more wave in their hair. A lot of times my hair is too done up for a lot of people. So that is what I would say. If you want more curl, I like the wand or to use a curling iron as a wand and I will do that soon. And another thing I will do is take the Living Proof Dry Volume Spray and spray it, let it dry just a few seconds. Shush it up. Shush it up. So that's definitely giving more body. Shush. There we go. That definitely gives more body. And then might look crazy in the back right now. It has to settle, but I'll go ahead. But, and I do have this new Skims dress on. I'm curious to see if the new Dyson Airwrap does better. Let me know what you think down below, what you've heard. I haven't watched a lot of videos on that, but I will probably. A really good one is how to have long, healthy blonde hair. I'm gonna put that up here for you to watch next. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.